Republican Senator Rubio told my colleague Manu Raju uh, he's going to vote no, and he called the called the vote a quote stupid waste of time. Um, what's your reaction on that? What's your message to Senate Republicans? If he's got time to fight against Disney, I don't know why he wouldn't have time to help safeguard marriages like mine. And that was Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg criticizing Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio. Rubio said last week that he's a no vote on legislation protecting same-sex marriage that just cleared the House and is headed towards the U.S. Senate. Buttigieg is the first openly gay cabinet secretary. He and his partner are involved in a same-sex marriage and the couple, they have two very young children. Well, the legislation that is working its way through Congress would not only offer federal protections for same-sex marriage, but also for interracial marriage. Should the Supreme Supreme Court ever act on Justice Clarence Thomas's opinion in the decision that got rid of abortion rights. Thomas raised the possibility that some of these other issues could also be kicked over to the states where the states could criminalize them. Florida Senator Rubio clearly doesn't like being singled out. He responded in a video that he posted on Twitter from home wearing an ill-fitting golf shirt. We have a Harvard-educated Transportation Secretary, Pete Buttigieg, who apparently never learned that there's a difference between the state level and the federal level. The Disney fight was a state fight because our legislature rightfully passed a law that said that we don't want our public schools indoctrinating six and seven year olds in the transgender agenda. And I supported that law. But what I focus on at the federal level in the Senate are federal problems that matter to real people, real problems. Marco Rubio was focused on the federal issues of our time, issues that have real meaning. Well, then why did he admit just a few sentences earlier that he was involved in the fight against Disney? Disney is a state issue, as he said, but Rubio, he's not a state lawmaker. He's a federal lawmaker, part of the U.S. Senate. And oh, by the way, he also mischaracterized what the Florida legislation had done. He said, oh yes, this is legislation aimed at stopping the transgender agenda from being promoted in schools. No, what the legislation did in Florida is prohibit schools from even mentioning gay or transgender or anything related to any of that. That's why the employees at Disney objected. Republicans decided, oh, well, let's now take on Disney. Well, as Marco Rubio engages in his verbal gymnastics, but clearly seemed to irk Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg, as that Buttigieg had just met with Rubio and other Republican senators talking about transportation issues just hours before these Republicans, including Rubio, came out and said, they were going to vote no on the bill to protect same-sex marriage. Our marriage deserves to be treated equally. And I don't know why this would be hard for a senator or a congressman. I don't understand how such a majority of, of House Republicans voted no on our marriage on as recently as Tuesday, hours after I was in a room with a lot of them talking about transportation policy, having what I thought were perfectly normal conversations with, with many of them on that subject, only for them to go around the corner and say that, uh, that my marriage doesn't deserve to continue. If they don't want to spend a lot of time on this, they can vote yes and move on. And that would be really reassuring for a lot of families around America, including mine. Providing reassurance to American families, though, is unfortunately not much of a concern or a priority for most Republicans, including Florida Republican Senator Marco Rubio. Rubio in particular seems obsessed, seems focused on accumulating political power by appealing to the right-wing lunatic fringe base in his party. And that base in the GOP, they are the white Christian evangelicals. They hate things like abortion rights. They also clearly hate same-sex marriage. And not only do they consider this to be an abomination, but they are looking for their representatives in Congress, including Florida Senator Marco Rubio, to carry their water. And that is the true abomination. The idea that Marco Rubio would not be able to just vote yes on same-sex marriage, but feel like, oh, in order to protect my job and in order to protect my right-wing flank in my party, I have to show that I'm also against gay marriage. Shame on Marco Rubio. If he's concerned about wasting time, maybe he should just close his mouth and move on. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us. Tell me what you think in the comment section.